So I've talked about a surprise and you might be able to see it, but I got a tattoo. And yes, it is this one right here. It's healed really, really well. And yes, it did hurt. I got it at Inked Up in Bristol, which is in like the St. James Arcade opposite Shakeaway near Primark, and right in the city centre. I went in with a kind of design, thanks to Vera Lee, who was one of the city volunteers last year who did it for me. And we kind of played with it, changed the font, and yeah, it happened. It only cost 90 quid, which isn't actually that bad for a good hour and a half custom tattoo work. And yeah, I now have ink on me. Rob did take some pictures and some kind of videos, so I'll pop them in here. As you can kind of see on my face, it, obviously it hurt, it's, it's a tattoo, it's a needle going into your skin with ink, it's gonna hurt. But, like a lot of people say, because of the fleshy area that it's kind of in, it didn't, it's not a major painful area. And it is like scratching a sunburn. Besides the the and the memories, so the bit near my collarbone and the bit near my armpit did actually hurt quite a lot. And the colouring in the shading, which is what I'd seen in a lot of videos. I did do a lot of research before getting this done and I have been thinking about getting a YouTube tattoo for about a year and a half. With lots of reasons, the volunteers, Sitsi, my career, and why I'm on my university course, my boyfriend, my flat, like it's all down to YouTube, it's all down to discovering this website and just posting videos for fun, which is kind of what this is, but it's also showing you guys, look, <laughs> I'm about a week and a half into the healing process, it takes two weeks minimum kind of, it takes to heal, it stopped hurting now though, it's kind of just in the peely uh, stage. It didn't fully scab, only like a little bit of the red properly scabbed. Um, it's just obviously it needs to refresh and get the fresh skin, but it should be healed by the end of this week. And I'm rather happy about it. So the capture the memories uh, was, I looked up, I was trying to find a load of quotes. I didn't just want the YouTube logo because that just looked like a big red blob and obviously that's not great. So I found a load of photography uh, kind of quotes and sayings and things and I thought capture the memories was so apt for YouTube. I definitely think the, the text means quite a lot and also the design means quite a lot. Also speaking of Sitsi, the little circle at the end of the memories, when I went in for my first consultation I mentioned that I wanted the little what we call the toilet roll at the end of the Sitsi logo on like the swirl um, because that's kind of become a joke in our little group and yeah she so they put it in so it's kind of like the full stop of capture the memories but it, i just i know what it means as i said i got it done at inked up in bristol uh, my tattoo artist was chris with a k he was really cool so if you want to check him out i'll put their facebook and their website in the doobly doo they have some really really cool artists there that literally do every time i did research and go and talk to the people at the tattoo place before actually getting it done and i've not had any chat like any sign of infection no nothing all because I followed the rules with the aftercare and I also had a friend at work who has a tattoo and she kind of advised me on the best things as well. When, as soon as it finished, obviously uh, they cling filmed it and they taped it and then they give you an aftercare sheet. So this is the one from Inked Up. It's actually quite good but it's also very good to then research aftercare as well. My t on there it just says clean it with warm soapy water, it doesn't say anything about using an antibacterial soap but a lot of people that I talk to or I watch their videos or I just looked on blogs or forums you definitely need to use some sort of soap and you need to clean it two to three times a day from two hours after you get your tattoo. Now it's kind of healed up and it's not as pickly or like scarry or like scabby, it's just kind of peeling. I've dropped it down to just washing it in the morning and in the evening and when I went to look a lot of places said use fragrance free and, and antibacterial soap and I couldn't find that anywhere and I needed it pretty quickly because obviously I just got my tattoo and then went to buy my aftercare stuff. I looked around and I did a load of research, I was stood in boots for like half an hour on my phone looking at forums about whether I could use Carex hand wash and then some places said no, some places said yes. With me having quite sensitive skin anyway, I knew I needed to get the sensitive one, but it was the only thing that I could find that was sensitive enough for my skin that I knew I could use, as well as being antibacterial. I've been using the Carex X Protection 2 Hour Sensitive Hand Wash, and it works. It's clean, never had no sign of infection, it's not been dry, it's looked pretty good actually. Um, so yeah, I would suggest this, especially if you've got really sensitive skin. And then you must keep it moisturized. That's been the big thing I saw a lot is keep it moisturized, keep it moisturized, keep it moisturized. So a lot of places said use Savlon. 
um, but I also was definitely like told by everyone don't use Vaseline Vaseline a lot of people use it and it's just like no you shouldn't be using Vaseline so I've been using the Panthen and yes that is nappy rash cream when I actually went to buy it as soon as I had my tattoo done the woman at the counter gave me such a funny look it, lo it literally looked like I've been stabbed in the chest because I was laid down obviously when I set up all the blood started to rush so it was quite funny but then she was like yeah no most people actually come in and buy the panthen for tattoos rather than nappy rash cream so I thought that was quite funny um I'm also taking the Bapanthan and cling film to work because I work in a pub um it's very obviously there's a lot of germs and alcohol and bacteria and with it being on my chest and having to wear a shirt it could something could easily come in contact with it so I have been cling filming it at work so that's really it so I have a tattoo so comment below if you have any questions or comments or you want me to just talk about my tattoo a bit more or if you have any questions about tattoos or like how much they hurt like I wouldn't say I had exactly a high pain threshold but it did hurt I did turn Rob's hand blue at a few points you wonder why I point that way because he's literally sat just there I will see you next week bye guys